Hey guys, it's Morgan. Welcome to another ride video. Zach and I are out on the Nate and Lou Creek Trail heading over towards Alpine. Uh, we're pitting the 24300 XCW that's basically stock against the super duper modified 23XC. Uh, and uh, I, with a really worn out tire, he's got a fresh Force AT Apex. We are on a nasty hill. Uh, I got my bike up there. It was not pretty. Zach's gonna make another run. So if that sounds fun, guys, stick with us. This is gonna be awesome. All right, guys. We are up near Ridgeway. We're gonna ride the Alpine Trail. Super excited. It's been too many years since I've ridden this whole thing. Rode a little bit of it earlier this year with Ewan to do some clearing. Now, Shitsy Poo and I are gonna enjoy the fruits of our labor. So, um, yeah, looks like a lot of other dirt bikes here, so should be a fun day. Just us and our group, but I have a feeling we're gonna run into some folks. I, uh, as always, am on my 23300XC. Zach's on his. 24 300 XCW. Mine's heavily modified, his is mostly stock. I got a, that worn out Talon uh, rear tire. I mean, worn all the way out. So that should be interesting. Gonna be running in the white mat today. It's a hard trail. You first! Oh, looks like conditions are gonna be good. It could be a little slippery in sections, but no dust, which is all, always good. So Zach is running a Brand new V-Moto Force AT uh, Apex, and I've got the Talon. Obviously, I've got the TSB head and tune, which is going to make this just super pleasant, probably. time guys years ago I had a couple text me at 10 30 at night about this time of year telling me they were stuck on the trail with no lights and it was right about here that I found them we got them out around three o'clock in the morning it was epic Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> that sucks. The shifter's busted off. Uh, <laughs> it had to be yesterday. They can't believe they go back that way. after stuff like that I'm so happy to have these freaking care packs pegs because I just put my foot in a whole bunch of mud and I'm still sticking to the pegs oh that's nice Definitely 
really psyched to have the white map. <laughs> are the closest thing we have to that Pacific Northwest style stuff. A lot of green, a lot of switchbacks, a lot of steep. But that's all those guys have. <laughs> we got lots more of different kind of stuff. But man, these things are awesome. Tight, but you gotta just trust this thing's gonna hook up because it is. <laughs> What's that? I know. <laughs> Back at Montrose, trails aren't this narrow. <laughs> I thought I was going to get you. Ooh. Woo! I would ride quite a ways and get that mud off those tires. Here we go. Come on, Zachies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, all the gas, all the gas, all the gas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Oh, yeah. Dude, I know you can't even stand. It's like. It doesn't look that bad. You were close, man. Those roots got you. Oh yeah, I have it on film. Whew. Hope that's the last one of those. Tire. There we go. What 
going fast or pretty. But also didn't stop. Jack's got me right now. Oh, there's Zach. He's stuck. Yeah, dude, <laughs> this is so cool. <sighs> yeah, these are like, these are like those Northwest switchbacks. A lovely day. Oh, yeah. Is that one of your Honda back there? No. Yeah. clear this trail thank you thank you thank you I think West Core has a hand in that so do uh, other just local folks so thank you guys and girls I sure do appreciate it Big deal. How's it going, man? Yeah, about as good as it can be. Really here. Hey, what's up, Will? Nothing. Not much, man. Just having a lovely day. Yeah. Nice up there. yeah, you guys, you guys are parked over at Owl Creek, right? Yeah. We parked there too. Come up, Luke Creek. Yeah, that one crazy slippery. <laughs> were those du three dudes still in there? They were. No, they were to the top. <laughs> yeah. Well, sweet. You guys have a rad day.
someone's gonna ask what gearing I'm running. I got 13.52 on this. Zach is running the stock gearing on the W, which I believe is like 14.48 or something like that. Or it's 13.45, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's 13.45. Which is actually, obviously we're gonna just fight for him. He's ahead of me. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's nice because it keeps that back sprocket small. Hits less things. I'm not afraid. Yeah! How's it going? I'm not that cool. <laughs> That's the picture right there.
one up. <laughs> so, if you hadn't figured it out yet, guys, this is an outback kind of situation. And this one, there's no shortcut. Like, on the uh, Night Blue Creek, we might skip that and do uh, just the road, depending on how we feel and how the day looks, depending on if it looks like it's gonna rain anymore. But uh, this one, you gotta do all of it. So we're currently heading into, ow, wow, wow, the little Cimarron drainage. Ow, I just twisted my knee a little bit. Not bad, but ow. Started in uh, the Uncapagre drainage, and then we crawled up and over to the Cimarron or Big Cimarron drainage. And then we went up and over. Now we're in the Little Cimarron drainage, and then we're going to reverse all that. your first time on the Alpine Trail? Good stuff. Yeah! So, I know everybody's wondering because I mentioned the gearing. You run the stock gearing. Is it 1345? Is that what it's saying? I think so. Something like that. It's crazy. But with that tiny little rear sprocket, it doesn't hit much. Something like that. But, more importantly, what gear are you going up those switchbacks in? Uh, usually first. Yeah. Because I do, I was doing probably 70% of them in second. Some of them, but I've got 1352, which the transmissions in these. By the way, guys, the transmissions are identical between the W and the XC now. Um, same gearbox. So, uh, biggest obviously difference is that one's a PDS and this one's not, and uh, his is stock. But the um, yeah. So there you go. I'm on second and third on that kind of stuff. He's probably first and second. There's a big difference, but it's nice not having that big wheel chewing things up. But just like crawl up over it. I'm like, what the crap? It's like cheating. And this thing is so worn out. But I'm officially a fan of the Tusk Talon. How's that thing working? It's been good. Nice. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad I swapped that out before today. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd had that AT81 on there, you'd be somewhere back over on Nate Creek Trail. So I was telling Zach earlier, you and rode all of this, not the other side, but up this side and down this side on his 125.
hand's gonna come on, but like, it's not pinging, we're doing anything weird, it's just... It feels exactly the same this far into the ride as it did when we started. Same with the suspension. I'll take some credit for that, being part of TVT, and I'm the person who valved this and tuned it with the clickers. It's incredible. Unless you've ripped this trail, you won't understand how nice it is to have boingers that work right. I think I'm going to end this video here. Um, I'm going to keep recording. I don't know how long this battery's going to last. I got my external battery set up, but uh, I'm going to end this video and just tell you that you should set your motorcycle up like this if you like riding trails like this. Um, obviously, there's a million kinds of trails, infinite number of trails and styles of riding, but if you like riding like this, this is the setup. Or get yourself one of these. Shoot your poo! How are you feeling? Good. Good. So good. So good it's so good we're finishing the video so that was awesome shitty poo how is it Super good. xcw bone stock really other than uh you know foot pegs skid plate but like performance wise that's a stock motorcycle stock suspension by the way by the way how's the stock suspension it's still good i think yeah we'll make it better but yeah still pretty good i hadn't ride the thing today but this thing now you dude this thing now i've fixed a bunch of things I had some clickers way set wrong. Dude, it's cheating now, but the, <laughs> we got specs for that. We're gonna do that here very soon uh, and get that valve and get back to you on that. But we've got some people already riding it, people loving it. So I know we can make that even better, but for a bone stock bike, that thing was super rad. So love you guys. See you on the next one. It's amazing the difference that brake spring makes. Dude, I'm telling you, right? Doesn't make sense like how well it works. It's it's the cheapest best thing you could buy for the motorcycle. Period.